now we are going to cover a small area that is rate of duty in case of goods imported as a set of articles section 19 so page number 156 so there is one section 19 which says that whenever we are importing a set of articles how to deal with the taxability so then like for example there is a package that package contains four five different articles each and every article is taxable at a different rate and when there is a separate price we never get a confusion so when we get a separate price definitely we will take each and every price and that respective rate we will multiply and we will pay customs duty but the challenge lies in when there is a single price okay so now import of set of articles now we need to check whether it is article liable to add article liable to uh, add dweller on duty or article not liable to duty suppose if it is specific duty method there is no problem again because one article that much amount is the duty directly determined so add dweller on duty means we will take the value and multiply with the percentage suppose if the articles are liable to add dweller on duty and liable to duty at the same rate liable to duty at the same rate say four articles are imported a b c d and all a b c d are taxable at the same rate so then in that case also the question of uh, you know computation difficulty will not arise so same rate we will apply on the entire price suppose if that uh, comp- that package contains different articles at different rates so then in that case separate value can be ascertained or not separate value cannot be ascertained then we need to take highest rate like a mixed supply under gst if separate values can be ascertained you take respective rate for the respective value so you need to take the respective value multiply with the respective rate and pay the customs duty accordingly when separate value can be ascertained see can be ascertained but in the invoice it is not separate value invoice there is only single value but it can be ascertained so if pro- if the importer proves to the satisfaction of the proper officer that so these are the separate values for these goods so then res- respectively they will be paying customs duty suppose if the separate values cannot be ascertained we will be taking the highest rate highest rate between the given articles between the given articles highest rate and we will apply on the single price this is like a mixed supply suppose if there are main article and accessories compulsorily supplied with the main article for a single price so there is a main article and there are accessories accessories are compulsorily supplied along with the main article for a single price then in that case what is that we need to do so treat it like composite supply so whatever is the rate of principal supply that you take so whatever is the rate applicable to that main article that main article rate only will be taken for the entire price understood so entire consignment chargeable to duty at the rate applicable to the main article okay entire consignment chargeable to duty at the rate applicable to main article and what if there are some articles which are not at all liable to duty that we have so that articles also will get taxed will get dutiable because of this so on those articles also we need to pay duty so therefore in case when the package contains some articles which are not liable to duty it is advisable to go for separate values so that that articles which are not liable to duty we don't have to pay duty suppose if we are not getting the separate values when we take the highest rate even we are paying customs duty on the articles which are not liable to duty that is a problem in case of section 19 okay so this is given in section 19 import of set of articles so we will see one question on this okay we will see one question on this okay one second here see this mr a imported certain goods comprising of set of articles at a consolidated price of rupees 16 lakhs mr a claims that 
the value of various articles is as follows along with the rate of duty prevalent on the date of presentation of bill of entry article x 10 lakhs article y 4 lakhs article z 2 lakhs article x is exempt article y is 5% article z is 10% what is the amount of duty payable by a if he fails to furnish evidence supporting the aforesaid values he furnishes requisite documents supporting the aforesaid values come on make it fast do that So what is the answer for this? First case, he fails to furnish evidence supporting the aforesaid values. So then, what is that we need to do? So we need to take first. So ten lakhs, ten lakhs into five percent. He fails to furnish the evidence. So total value. So ten plus four plus two, sixteen lakhs. Ten plus four plus two, sixteen lakhs into What is the highest rate? So the highest rate is ten percent. So take eleven percent. How eleven percent? Basic customs duty plus social welfare surcharge. So that will be equal to so sixteen lakhs into eleven percent. So one lakh seventy six thousand. One lakh seventy six thousand. Whereas in the second case, so what if he furnished the requisite documents supporting the aforesaid values? Then we will take proportionately. That is. Four lakhs into five point five percent, five point five percent plus two lakhs into two lakhs into eleven percent. This is what I was referring to. That even non-dutiable articles or exempted articles will also be taxed if you go for the highest rate. Okay, so therefore four lakhs, four lakhs into five point five percent M plus and two lakhs. Into eleven percent M plus MRC forty four thousand. So forty four thousand will be taken as the duty payable. Understood. So compute the assessable value for the purpose of determination of customs duty from the following information: machinery imported by from USA by air FOB price. It is inclusive of accessories worth rupees thousand dollar worth thousand dollars compulsorily supplied along with the machine. So five thousand dollars and air freight thousand two hundred insurance charges not available local agents commission to be paid in Indian currency that is rupees nine thousand three hundred transportation from Indian airport to factory four thousand rupees exchange rate one dollar equals to sixty five provide explanation where necessary now what is that we need to do in this case listen should we do the valuation separately or single single valuation why single valuation. Sir, accessories compulsorily supply along with the machine for a single price five thousand. Why you need to do valuation separately? There is only single price, single price, single valuation, and we will take the rate applicable to the machine only. So now, no need to do the separate valuation in this case. Okay. So no need to do separate valuation in this case. So just a single valuation will be sufficient. Okay. So what is that single valuation that we need to do in this case? So please see. So first we will take FOB price given five thousand dollars and convert it into Indian rupees using sixty five. You will be getting three lakh twenty five thousand. Add local agents commission nine thousand three hundred. FOB price revised you will get. So because I have given local agents commission FOB price freight air freight actual or twenty percent of FOB whichever is lower insurance. That's it. Only one valuation. So because of section nineteen. In case where accessories compulsorily supply along with the goods, then the accessory cannot be assessed separately. So therefore, the value has to be clubbed with the value of the machine. What if? Now this is an another equation. This is an another equation. Okay. So what if? So see this.
say this what if we have this way that is 4000 and 1000 what if we have this way 4000 dollars and 1000 dollars Machinery imported from USA by air $4,000. Accessories compulsorily supply along with the machine $1,000. Can we apply now that point? No, we cannot apply. Sir, only when there is a single price, we will take the rate of original machine or original equipment. But here, the price is not single. The price is separate. So, we need to do the valuation separately. Sir, how to do the valuation separately? So, we need to first take FOB price. So, split it between machinery and accessories. And everything you split in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So, local agent commission also you split in 4 is to 1. Freight also you split in the ratio of 4 is to 1. Insurance also you split in the ratio of 4 is to 1. Now, you need to ascertain two different values. Understood or not? Yeah. This is the application of section 19. Okay. So, section 19 provides that accessory shall be chargeable to the same rate at which the main article is taxable if it fulfills two conditions it is compulsorily supplied along with the main article and its price is included the price of the main article in the given case all the accessories is compulsory supplied but the price is available separately so the value shall be ascertained separately for both mission and accessories okay next another case that is So, you see this, one second. Huh. See this, next question, Mr. A imported a car valued rupees 5 lakhs and the rate of duty is 10% with accessories valued rupees 50,000 and the rate of duty is 8%. Determine the duty payable in the following independent cases. If accessories are compulsorily sold with the car at a single price of 5,50,000. Now on entire 5,50,000 we will take which rate? 11%. Why 11%? So 10% plus social welfare surcharge, main article. So 11% of 5,50,000. And if accessories are optionally supplied for a separate price. So optionally supplied, we will take respective rate. So 5 lakhs into 11% and 50,000 into 8.8%. Okay. Then, so these questions will give you the clarity related to section 19. These are the illustrations on section 19. Okay.